Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I got an interesting video for you today. What do you see attached to my XK Detect X380? Yes, it's a gimbal. I finally got a gimbal to try out. Uh, this is a cheap $45 gimbal. I don't think you need much more to use with this quadcopter. It's, it just seems to be perfect for it. Um, I attached it with my uh, Runcam HD camera. I, I needed to make a little fine, uh, fine tuning of its um, configuration software, but it seems to be working real fine. I, it was really uh, actually kind of simple to set up. I thought it'd be a little more difficult than that. Um, you know, it wasn't just plug and play. <laughs> there was some adjustments needed to be made, but uh, I'll discuss them as I'm flying here. Let me just unlock the, the quadcopter. Let's go for a flight. I have GPS lock on the quadcopter. We're out here in the desert again. All I want to do is try out this gimbal to see how well it performs in normal flight. Okay. I'm flying right now in GPS lock. Now keep in mind, this gimbal's 200 grams. <laughs> you know, it's not a very light gimbal, this, these cheap ones. But the XK Detect is able to carry that. You know, I thought it would have a little more problem carrying it, but it seems to lift it um, relatively easily. Now let's just fly over the, the valley over there. Through the gully. I'm over by the tires. Okay, I'm going to bring it to a halt right about there. Let it hover a bit. Give it a little more altitude. And just let it hover a bit. Now, the quadcopter is trying to maintain its position in space by automatically adjusting pitch and roll and throttle using the GPS as input. Now, if you, you probably can see that uh, uh, the quadcopter's one leg sticking in the video. I left it there deliberately. I didn't adjust the camera. I wanted you to see how this thing wobbles. The GPS, you, they call it the GPS wobble, I guess some people call it. I call it GPS wobble. <laughs> but uh, with that in mind, you know, the GPS, uh, let me turn the quadcopter, bring it back toward me again. If I didn't have this gimbal attached, the camera would be wobbling similar to what the uh, quadcopter is doing right now. Um, that's the advantage of a gimbal. A gimbal is really needed if you want steady video. Now I'm just doing low level flying. Now keeping in mind that this gimbal weighs a good 200 grams. That means, you know, the flight time that your this quadcopter normally gets, it's uh, advertised at 30 minutes. That's not going to happen with a gimbal. <laughs> You're going to have to account for that and bring it in a little sooner than 30 minutes. Um, I'm actually going to only fly it by 5 minutes just to show you the, how the gimbal works. Very steady video it should be. I hope there's uh, <laughs> one thing I don't know is how is the um, Jello <laughs> with this with this gimbal. We'll find out. Okay, I'm bringing it back to hover again. Let's go down in the gully and just do some uh, observations of junk that I see down in the gully there. Bringing down the throttle a bit. Now, with this 200 grams, it, it's always a good idea to keep a little forward movement on this thing when you're flying around um, to avoid vortex ring state. If you're going to go into hover, I don't recommend uh, descending in a hover. Try to keep some forward movement on in the hover. Or you might just enter that bad boy called Vortex Ring State. Okay, I'm going to do a little rotate over there at that position there. I'm going to put a little altitude on it so I can see it because it was blending in with the scenery there. Let's go up high a bit. Climbing, getting some forward movement on.
it seems to fly well. Keeping in mind I got this heavy gibbel on there. Yeah, 200 grams, that's close to half a pound added to the weight of this quadcopter. Let's get a little more altitude. Climbing up a little higher. Okay, that should be good there. And let's just go into hover right there. I'm about uh, 100 meters or so up in the air. Doing a rotate. Slow rotate to show you a pan. Now I don't have the uh, tilt hooked up to this yet. This was just uh, roughly uh, attached using its... Uh, it has these universal pin connectors. Um, to attach the power power port and also the uh, the tilt control if you want uh, I'd like to actually get better connectors than what it has on it right now namely uh, the actual type of uh, pin connectors that that is designed for this quadcopter instead of the using these uh, universal ones but that's going to have to wait for now by the way I've been looking for those is if anybody knows uh, the appropriate connectors that go for this that go with this quadcopter, please chime in. <laughs> I'd like to modify this and get it back to uh, get rid of those universal pin connectors. They just look bad. And that cable's really long. I had to wrap it around several legs. Okay, I'm coming down. And again, as I'm coming down, I'm keeping forward movement on to avoid vortex ring state. Yeah, I hope this is working well with this. I think it is. Looks level to me. Let's bring it in a little closer and take a look. How are you doing there, camera? Yeah, you look level. <laughs> Let's go down in the gully. Go down lower. Do low speed pass over the bushes. Pretty cool. Forty five dollars, and you can get reasonably good video. And again, this is a universal uh, gimbal. It's advertised for DJI, and it also is advertised for GoPro. But it, it works with any quadcopter, really. <laughs> um, in regards to the, the uh, DJI, uh, <laughs> the fittings work just as well for the XK Detect to attach it to this or any other quadcopter, again, as I mentioned. That is capable of carrying a gimbal and has the components to do such. Um, it is fine-tuned for a GoPro, uh, for the weight of the GoPro but you can easily modify that configure it for other cameras like this run cam here using uh, there's configuration software that you can download freely download this is cool flying it with real low level let's fly it around the bushes get a little bit higher than the bushes just a little bit higher <laughs> it's cool yeah it's a little the way it's configured it's it's set for a heavy gopro so you, you attach a run cam on it or a Mobius or one of these smaller action cameras and it, 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 it'll jitter uh, with the uh, default settings that it has. The, the camera will jitter. Um, all you need to do is turn down the power settings in the configuration software and that stops that jitter. Okay, let's bring it in for a landing. I think I've served uh, the purpose of this demonstration to show how this flies. Let's increase the speed a bit on this low speed or this uh, low altitude run. Pretty darn cool, huh? 
Well, one thing I haven't tried yet on this quadcopter is it's, it's um, take, or one key takeoff and one key landing button. I am going to do that. Let's put it over a position where I want to land, and I'm just going to press that button to see it land. Coming in. Right about there. Okay, we're hovering. It's here. Let's bring it a little bit farther forward, right on the road. I want to land it right there. So I'm pressing the one key landing. You just put it over the position where you want to land, press the button, and let it land it for you. And there we go. Welcome back. <laughs> Pretty darn cool. I like this XK to detect X380 more and more. The big brother of the um, V303. Well, actually, it's almost the exact same as the V303, <laughs> with the exception. Here, let me turn it off my video with the ex yeah it's the exact same as the V303 except it's got twice the range and quite twice the flight time and that's what it's like with the power turned off again I just simply attached this using these universal pin connectors that come with it that are these these are these things here I haven't attached the uh, the tilt as I mentioned yet I will attach that in the future this was just a quick try out uh, by just simply attaching the power pin connectors which go into that which go into the uh, the power of the gimbal uh, hopefully it was a good flight we'll find out again this is quadcopter 101 first demonstration of the gimbal for my XK, XK detect I'll probably get also additional gimbals for my other uh, higher end quadcopters <laughs> better ones than my toy quadcopters hope you enjoyed this flight this is quadcopter 101 signing out